Okay, so um, today we're going to talk about actually naming polygons. Okay, you might be saying, what is a polygon? Alright, but a polygon, uh, a regular polygon is a shape where all the sides and all the angles are equal. Okay, and it's, it connects, it's closed. Alright, so if we talk about a polygon... We have, and we'll say a regular polygon because that's what we're working with. It's where all the sides and all the angles are equal. So how about a square? Do you think a square is a regular polygon? Okay, if all those sides and all those angles are the same. Give me a thumbs. Okay, you're going to give me yes in sign language. That looks good. Yes, this is a regular polygon. Very good. How about, um, how about an equilateral triangle? An equilateral triangle. Is this a regular polygon? Remember, in a regular polygon, all the sides and all the angles have to be equal. Okay, yes. If this is an equilateral triangle, that means everything's equal. All the sides are equal and all these angles are equal. Okay, how about an isosceles triangle? An isosceles triangle. Would this be a regular polygon? Okay. No. Very good. It would not be. Okay. Because two sides are longer than the other. Okay. And this is a very small acute angle. And these are also acute, but they're a little bit, little bit bigger than this one. All right. Good. So you get the idea of a regular polygon. Well, that's what we're talking about today. Now, a regular polygon can have more than three or four sides. Okay, so let's just say the regular polygon is, um, let's see, let's just say the regular polygon has five sides. Okay, so let's say it looks like this. I'm going to try to draw these sides and angles as close to equal as I can. Can't promise they'll be perfect, but, all right, so what's the name of the shape? It's not quite regular because some of the sides are a little bit equal, so it'd be called irregular. Okay, irregular. But what's the name of this shape? Does anyone know? Show me in sign language what it begins with. Mm. Okay, should be beginning with a P. Okay, because this shape is called a pentagon. Okay, pentagon. It has five sides. All right. And when you see pen, penta, you know that means five, okay? Pen, that, um, the beginning of that word, pent, penta, is going to be five. All right, and if you see gone, you might be noticing that's common in all of those. That's going to be some sort of the, the shape. Okay, so we started talking about the, the words like that. Now, just like you remember with the triangle, and the quadrangle, we named them. We named them. Well, we can do the same thing with, with any polygon, actually. It doesn't matter whether it's regular or irregular. Okay, we can give it a name. Um, all right, and let's see. Let's name this one. Um, I was going to try to spell something, but it didn't quite work out that way. So, all right, that's okay. So, each of these has a different letter, all right? Now, I want you to show me with your fingers. Make a prediction about how many names you think this, this polygon has. Make a prediction with your fingers about how many names this polygon has. Okay. If you said 10, you would be correct, all right? And you remember, it follows the same pattern. The triangle had six names. There were three points. The triangle had six names. The quadrangle had eight names and four points. This pentagon has five points and will have 10 names. 
Okay? So we're, we can do it. We can start it just like this. E is going to go around this way and around this way. Then X is going to go around this way and around this way. Okay, C can go this way and this way. A can go this way and this way. M can go this way and this way. Okay, and that'll give us our name. So we can go E, X, C, A, M. E, M, A, C, X. All right, X, C, A, M, E. We can go X, E, M, A, C. C A M E X. Uh, we can go C X E M A. We can go A C X E M. We can go A M E X C. We can go M E X C A. <coughs> and we can go M A C X E. Yes. E. Okay, those are the only names that polygon can have, that pentagon can have. All right? Um, if we try to go across, then it doesn't work. We miss the M, okay? Try to go across this way, we miss the X. We can't, we can't cut. You have to go right around it to make that shape. Otherwise, you'd end up with a different shape. Okay, this is the only way to get what you need. And so you guys notice that pattern. Right? The triangle had three points, six names. The quadrangle had four points, eight names. It doubles, right? And that will work with other polygons, regular or irregular. It will work. All right? So that's good to know um, in case you want to figure out the names of polygons. So you're going to have to know how to do that. Um, and then, let's see. Um, I'm going to use the pattern block template to trace regular polygons. You're going to do some measuring. Okay, so th these, actually these workbook pages look just like the couple of workbook pages that you've been doing um, with the triangle and also with the quadrangle. Okay, um, so, but this is about regular polygons, pentagon, and, um, how to name pretty much any polygon you're going to run across. Any questions?